Before you know it, April will be here. Guess you know what that means. Yep, the uh, new Miss April Centerfold. <laughs> Ding-a-ling, April's tax time, where you add up the score and see how you've done. You mean to tell me they're taxing that now? <laughs> hey, have you filled out your form yet? Well, I can't compete with Miss April. I'm talking about your income tax. I'm not going to pay any, any, no, not, not this year, no income tax at all. Nope. You're not going to nope. pay any income tax? Nope. Well, do you realize what would happen if everyone in this country were trying to do the same thing you're trying to do? What do you think would happen? There'd be a real happy brunette lady in Glendale over here. Dick, I'm, what I'm talking about is taxing. Well, what I'm talking about is the most relaxing thing in the world. All right. Let's, let's talk about income. Talk about dependents. Whatever turns you on. Now, you know what a dependent is. That's someone who depends on you for their rent, their food, their clothing. Yeah, well, there's this brunette lady in Glendale. For that happy lady in Glendale, along with all of you, here's a laugh-in salute to taxes. She's about this big. Income tax! Income tax! Income tax! Income tax! If we didn't have income tax, our boys would have to pay their own way to Vietnam. Yeah, and without income taxes, countries couldn't afford armies. And without armies, there'd be no wars. And, uh, hey, wait a minute. I think we're onto something here. Income tax, can bundle your tax, a cause you've made in your places. But it's the game, American way, so welcome the wolf to your door. Fortunately, the church is not taxed. I guess you might say that's our heaven on earth. I think it's every citizen's duty to pay every penny of his income tax. Otherwise, when our senators vacation in Europe, they'd have to stay in second-rate mo hotels. You know what? I never cheated this much on my income tax. This much, yes, but this much, no! <laughs> See, we don't have no problem about income tax in the ghetto. The big problem in the ghetto, baby, is income. <laughs> so let's go on with the show. Call up the dough. Taxes are neat. Learn how to cheat. What do we care? Money to spare. Don't be a clock. Take that deduction. The government allowed me $600 on my mother-in-law. <laughs> if they'd have played their cards right, they could have had her for 200 <laughs> I tried to convince the income tax folks that my entire car was deductible. The front part for business transportation, the back seat for entertainment. I don't care what your funk and wagnall says. Tax is a four-letter word. Now, Mr. Berkowitz, you claim $6,000 as a total income from a small delicatessen, yet under deductions you list 87 trips to Israel. Now, how do you explain that? Well, we deliver. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, sir, with a wife and 12 kids, you finally reached the point where you pay no income tax at all. Uh -huh. I guess now you'll be able to sleep easier at night, eh? Listen, lady, if I could sleep easier at night, I wouldn't have the 12 kids in the first place. Uh -huh. Now, look, ma'am, on your husband's form, he lists you as a dependent. And on your form, you list him as a dependent. You can't do that. Well, if we can't depend on each other, who can we depend on? Uh-huh. Uh, now, madam, uh, you list uh, as income from your <laughs> uh, business uh, an estimated tax of $500. Yeah. Is that withholding? Well, sure. Now, that's withholding and with hugging and with pinching. <laughs> a little snuggling. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, I see by your tax form here that last year your income was $100,000. Now, you list here as a depreciation for business expense a 200-inch telescope, 12 one-man toboggans, a gypsy wagon, and a deep-sea diving outfit. Mr. McDonald, what kind of business are you in? I don't know, but I'm making a fortune. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> income tax is one of the facts of life that everyone faces. Federal first, but that ain't the worst. Then here comes the state. You shouldn't be late on April 15th. 